I'm Alexa, and welcome back to The Leftovers. This week, we're cooking with Miss Reeves. So, would you like to tell us what we're making this week? Well, today we're making vegetable mac and cheese. Figured it's something that you could have in your house if you're hungry, but you want to eat a good meal, mm -hmm. and it's easy to make. So, what's our first step here? All right, the first thing you want to do is boil the noodles. I right. pre-boiled them already. I usually use this tricolor rotini. I like the rotini because the cheese will stick to it. It's got the spirals in it. We'll just start here. We'll put a little of this magic spray so it doesn't stick to the pan. I'm going to layer it. Scoop we'll it right in. Scoop right on the bottom of your cooking pan. Beautiful. The base. All mm -hmm. right. And often I have the vegetables chopped before while the noodles are boiling, I'll do the vegetables. You can do anything you want. You could also, I today have onions, zucchini, and red pepper. You could do broccoli, Brussels sprouts, anything. If you're gonna do a heavier vegetable, I would say steam them first a little bit. They'll bake better. So why don't you tell me, what do you do here on a daily basis? Well, my prime responsibility is making sure you're all in class. Entering the absentee, the tardies, if you're late, if you bring me notes, uh, you come in and I want you to feel welcome with that big smile. Something that, we, that I learned about you before we started filming today while we were chatting was um, you have your pilot's license. I did have my pilot's license, that's true. Mm -hmm. so, so, I guess my question is, why? Well, I was 19 years old. I was working at a country club on the golf course as a greenskeeper, and planes would fly by all the time from the local airport. And I thought, that's a great thing. I want to learn how to do that. So I went down to the airport, and I signed up for a couple of lessons. They had a package deal, three mm -hmm. lessons and I was hooked. And I continued, I entered um, the community college. They had a flight technology program. Mm -hmm. Went through that program, got my private pilot's license. And I loved it. And I was gonna go on for more, but it got expensive and I realized I loved to fly, but I didn't wanna do it every single day. Mm -hmm. So I went back to school and I switched to horticulture and I studied horticulture. So, although I loved flying, I had to give it up, and I went on to my next love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like to add pepper jack cheese. It gives it a little spice to my mac and cheese. You can get mm -hmm. any kind. Colby cheese is really good. Could you explain what hort horticulture is? Yes. Horticulture is the study of growing plants, growing things, culture life and growth um, and when I studied horticulture I also had to study botany which is the study of plants and I learned all kinds of the names of plants and trees flowers anything outside I also took a course on insects um, design work a lot of design work so my knowledge is all about the great outdoors I love being outside identifying nature. Spread that all around. This is gonna be really good. Get that good. I like to mix it up a little bit to get it down into the lower layer. So horticulture and botany, the study of plants, do you have a favorite plant to grow? Well, I love orchids. They're a little tricky. They're more in the house. But I will say uh, when I was younger, just starting out, and I had a business and we did everything in trees, shrubs, flowers, the hardscape, which is the walkways and the walls and all that kind of stuff. But as I got older and didn't have my big, strong, younger people to help me, I basically do a flower garden now. I do all love perennials, annuals, um, things, and shrubs. Don't deal with the trees as much. So it's hard, it's like saying, what's your favorite song or right. favorite book, favorite food? So I can't really mm -hmm. whittle it down to one. What is the best advice you could give to the students here at NHS? 
because you are full of so much wisdom. Oh, do you go on? <laughs> I could. Best advice, get involved. There's so many things that this school offers. Uh, I just, that's what I love about my job. I get to see the students coming through. They've got the academic kids, the athletes, the dramatic children in the theater, the incredible artists. There's so many different avenues, lots of clubs, lots of involvement people can do, and it'll just make your day. It doesn't have to be about all the classwork and things like that that you might dread. You know, if you have a favorite teacher or a favorite subject, you really enjoy it, you want to go to that class. Well, there's things outside the classroom, and I think mm -hmm. it'll make your experience here at the school greater. All right, so this is looking pretty tasty. Well, thank you. Now you're going to bake that 350 for about 45 minutes. It's going to get all gooey, yummy, delicious. Look at that. After you, it's my dear. Nice. One of my bright. favorites. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I know that you're enjoying your time here at NHS, but do you ever think you're going to retire? No, they're going to have to pull me out of here. I'll never yeah. retire. I'll be there. That's exactly what we <laughs> love the to end. hear. At the end. <laughs> Kicking and screaming. Mm -hmm. Exactly what I wanted to hear. All right. Perfect. Love you guys. Thank Thanks you for so everything. Much. Can I have a hug? Thank you so much, Ms. Reeve.